After beating up the Chicago Bulls by 26, the Warriors have now won seven straight by at least 13 points. The Warriors' number one ranked defense held DeMar DeRozan, who was number four in plus minus heading into this game, to just four of 13 shooting from the field. And overall, the dubs forced the Bulls to settle for shots they weren't accustomed to taking. From Steph's massive lead in plus minus to Iggy's playmaking, in this video, we're looking at why the Golden State Warriors should scare the NBA. Considering Klay Thompson's return is right around the corner and the team is already 11-1, to me, this is resembling Golden State's 2015-16 season, where they set the NBA record for wins. Stay tuned to see how good this team will be once Thompson returns. Before continuing, only 24.5% of you watching right now are subscribed, so please subscribe. Also leave a thumbs up on this video, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. The Bulls didn't have Nikola Vucevic, but they did have three of their biggest stars in Levine, DeRozan, and Lonzo. Vucevic is one of the better passing big men and rebounders in the game, so he does have a really big impact, but it was just one of those nights for Chicago. Having said that, the Dubs' physical defense was imposing throughout the game, as perimeter defenders like Andrew Wiggins, Igudala, and Gary Payton II wore the Bulls down, specifically impacted by the Warriors' quick, well-coached defense fueled by the backbone of it all in Draymond Green. DeRozan shot just 4 for 13 from the fields, and Lonzo shot just 2 for 11. The new-look Bulls had been raging through the rest of the NBA, and the Warriors just treated this game game like it was any other blowout for them. Steph was absolutely mesmerizing as he usually is, dropping his third 40-piece already this season. But whenever the Bulls go up against the Warriors, you can't help but think about what Klay Thompson did in Chi-Town way back in 2018-19. In a late October outing, Klay set the NBA record for single-game three-pointers made, dropping 14 of them in an absolutely mind-blowing performance. Once the Splash Brothers reunite, it's over for the rest of the league, considering the dubs are already 11-1 with Steph, Dre, Jordan Poole, and a flurry of role players getting it done. But let's not disregard their impact by calling them merely role players. Guys like Gary Payton II, aka GP2, the big man up front in Kevon Looney, even Kuminga was chipping in with some buckets off the bench. Jonathan had a few insane dunks in garbage time. Good to see the 7th overall pick and 19-year-olds from the Republic of Congo getting some run. The former Finals MVP Andre Iguodala being back with the dubs just feels right. Iggy's a warrior legend, and he's having a really solid season off the bench in the minutes he's been given. The old man can still get up for jams on the fast break. He can still catch lobs, springing up for dunks with ease like he used to in his prime. Against the Bulls, he threw down a one-handed jam, preceded by a burst through the lane, and he looked like he was 25 years old. Additionally, Andre has one of the highest IQs of any player in the league in terms of his defensive instincts, and on the other end, his exceptional passing. Against the Hawks, Iggy became the first Warrior reserve since 2017 to put up 10 assists. Andrew Wiggins, aka Air Canada, has made a sensational impact all year long. The man's creating offense on the perimeter with newly polished pull-ups. And finally, Andrew is looking like the number one pick he was drafted to be, only in a different uniform that Minnesota fans were hoping for. Nemanja Bialica is second among all players right behind his boy Steph Curry in plus minus. Coming into that game against Chicago, Steph, however, ranked a full 19 ahead of Bielitsa, so Curry's far ahead of the pack. The man's absolutely dominating right now. But back to Bielitsa, and the fact that Belly's plus 115, well, at least he was before the Bulls game, just goes to show you how valuable his floor spacing is next to the Warriors' top scoring options. Shooting a career-best 52% from long range, Nemanja has been an absolutely outstanding fit in the Bay. The Warriors' offense flows with pristine passing, cuts to the basket, and off-ball screening. Nemi's quick trigger from distance with his ability to let it fly with ease has spaced out the Warriors' advanced offensive system that much more. It absolutely tears opponents' souls out when they double up on Steph 
and he sheds their game plan by whipping an over-the-shoulder pass to Professor Big Shots. Curry, Draymond, and Clay have been teammates for 10 years now, and given Jordan Poole's progression, who can knock down deep-range shots and get to the basket off the dribble, combined with the fact that Clay Thompson is on his way back, other fan bases looking to add a ring next year should be scared. The Bulls are tough to beat, but no one thought coming into this game that the Warriors would embarrass the Bulls. So I had to put together a video for tonight. There'll be no video on Saturday as I'm going to the Raptors game. Anyways, this was D-Flow. Have a great one, and I'll see you next video.